Google's big conference is over and there was a lot of information in there. These are the top five Google I.O. announcements you should know. At number five is Allo. It's a smart messaging app that seems like a Facebook Messenger rival, but it's got some tricks up its sleeve. The Google Assistant is baked in so you can find results right from the app. There's an incognito mode so conversations disappear when you're done. Allo also has smart replies that feature words you actually use since it learns how you write. The smart reply feature looks so smart, you may never have to have another real conversation again. It arrives in the summer on both iOS and Android. At number four, Android Auto. If you've wanted Android Auto, you need to buy a new car or a compatible head unit. Oh, that's changing, everybody. Soon, you'll be able to run Android Auto on your phone. On top of that, Google's Waze is headed to Android Auto. Waze lets drivers report traffic conditions live, so you always have up-to-date traffic information. At number three, Android Wear 2.0. Google's revised Android for your wrist so much, you might actually want to wear a smartwatch. Android Wear 2.0 will show any data from any app on your watch face. It features smart replies, a new keyboard, and handwriting support. The hardware sensors on Android Wear 2.0 devices will automatically launch apps like Strava if the watch recognizes you're exercising. A phone is no longer needed for Android Wear, and apps work on their own. Expect Android Wear 2.0 in the fall. At number two, Chromebooks get Android apps. Starting in June, Android apps are headed to Chromebooks. Google's Chromebooks are relatively very low cost, but were really kind of limited. With the addition of over a million Android apps, Chromebooks just got a lot more interesting. Apps can be run in a windowed mode or full screen. Not every app will work on Chromebooks, but over a million ain't bad. At number one is Google Home. Google CEO Sundar Pichai started this announcement by giving a shout out to the Amazon Echo. Then Google showed off Google Home, a device that will directly compete with the Echo. It's Google's personal assistant in your home that will live in a plug-in speaker. Home will work with Nest products and Google Chromecast devices. It looked really slick in a demo video. We'll find out when it launches later this year. Google's 2016 will be very interesting to watch. For more top fives, check out top5.cnet.com. I'm Ayaz and I'll see you online.